Here's a really nice way to turn a store covered vegetable into a delicious healthy salad. So first of all, I'm gonna roast the squash. So cut it in half, which can be a bit of a tough order. If your knife is nice and sharp, that will help. Cut the, cut the ends off, I think. It makes it easier to get hold of. And then simply a nice sharp knife, hold it firmly and just cut all the way down. Don't worry if your halves aren't very symmetrical. It doesn't really matter. No it's matter your halves. So I'm going to cut one half now. You can take the seeds out if you like, or you could just leave them in. I'll take these ones out. The second half of the squash, I'm just going to pop in the fridge, wrap it in cling film, food wrap, pop it in the fridge, keep that for later. This one I'm going to roast in the oven. So a nice hot oven, so 200 degrees for a conventional oven or an agar roasting oven for about 45 minutes to an hour or so until it's nice and browned on top and nice and juicy. So if you're making a salad, start with the salad dressing. So the easiest way is just to do it by eye. I'm going to make mine in a jam jar because that's easy and I've got one handy in the drawer. Um, you, want, you want four times the amount of oil as you do vinegar, sharp stuff. So I start with a couple of fingers depth of oil. Um, and it depends on how many you're making. So this is, going to, this is going to be plenty to dress this salad. So there's my oil measurement. So then take some vinegar. So you want something sharp because it's going to cut through it and give it that nice sort of acidic balance. You want a quarter of the amount. So if I had four fingers worth of oil, I'd have one finger worth of vinegar. Here I've got two, so I want a quarter of that amount of vinegar. We'll just do that by eye. You could use lemon juice instead if you wanted, just something nice and tangy to give it that bitterness. So then season it. Think about how your tongue works here. So your tongue has saltiness detectors at the front and then sweetness in the middle and then sourness down the side. And the salad dressing is a really perfect way to make sure you've got the balance of those. So we want a bit of saltiness, a bit of sourness from the vinegar and some sweetness as well. So let's start with the salt. Um, I want for this, uh, say a, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And don't be shy with the salt because it won't taste of anything if your dish is kind of greasy and a bit too sharp. So some salt. And then for some heat, for some hotness actually, we've got some mustard. Again, maybe about a quarter of a teaspoon. The, measurement, the measurements really don't have to be exact in this at all because you can tweak it once you've made it if it's a bit overpowering. Um, some sweetness from uh, some honey in this case. And that is important because otherwise it'll just taste too bitter and too astringent. Some pepper if you wanted, pop the lid on and just give it a shake. There we go. So your mustard's important because it works as what we call an emulsifier. It helps hold it all together. You could use garlic to do the same thing. Um, for sweetness, we've got honey for this, but you could add uh, maple syrup. Um, if you wanted, you could put herbs in as well to give a bit more flavour, but that's going to give a really nice dressing and that would store in the fridge for weeks, actually. If it separates out, give it another shake and it'll be good to go. So to make my salad, I've got some spinach. Just pop the spinach, spinach into the bowl. You could chop it off a bit if you wanted to. You could use something like kale, that'd be really nice as well. If you've got kale or cabbage or something you're using for your salad, you could, you could just rub it with some oil and massage it a bit to help it go a, bit, a little bit more floppy. Um, spinach like this is perfect. And then some feta cheese on the top. This is brilliant because it lasts for ages in the fridge, so you could have a packet in there tucked away for whenever you need it. So this has been in the roasting oven at my arbor for about an hour or so, or in the conventional oven for about, uh, for about an hour or so, about 200 degrees. All I need to do is just cut it into chunks. You could roast it in chunks if you wanted, just as easily, but you know, it's quite tough and hard to break up. I much prefer to do it once it's cooked. I'm not going to take the skin off. It's like a baked potato where you can eat the skin quite happily, so leave that on. You could use the roasted squash like this to make soup. Just throw it in the blender with some nice cooked onions and some stock. Um, it's really, I've left it in nice big chunks but you could have smaller ones if you prefer. So finally, um, top it with a few seeds. I've got a few, this is a mix I've got, I put on top of cakes quite often. Um, it's flaked almonds, pumpkin seeds, and pine nuts. And I've just toasted it in a dry pan, just on the top of the argo or on a hob. Um, sprinkle some seeds over the top, and it doesn't matter with the seeds, whatever you happen to find in the cupboard, if anything. And if you don't have any, don't worry. Put some seeds for a little bit of crunch and some nice ogres, make it nice and healthy. And finally, my dressing on the top. Give it a little shake again if it needs it. Plenty of dressing. 
There we go, plenty of dressing to finish it off with. And there's my salad.